Yeah! Welcome back, Dark Souls fans. So, yeah, I helped beat a boss, finally. See how the end of that. And that didn't make a difference. I think I might have to start the whole game over, quite honestly. I'm pretty sure that I'm going to actually have to just restart, like, from scratch. I just cut out all the episodes until I get back to the dilapidated bridge and all the area I've been to. Because, from what I can tell, basically how this has worked is that Every single time I have used Yol of Londor's services to upgrade my or to level up, I have, as a result, gotten more hollow when I die. So basically, it looks like every for every level you get from from Yol, you end up having your hollowing increase by that much every single time you die. I don't know what the maximum is. I don't know what curse means or if it means I basically can't play. Like that would be. My concern, basically, is that this is totally unprecedented. Essentially, I kind of get that Yol of Londor is probably meant to be a high-risk, high-reward thing for people who are trying to do low-level runs or trying to do speed runs or something. And I figure they're not going to die much anyway, so it doesn't matter. But that's not the case here, unless it's a way of either reversing a hollowing or undoing those levels and just basically going, okay, well, you know what, Yol, thanks a lot, but you basically screwed me over and ruined my life. If there's no way of undoing that. I have to restart the game, and that's totally unprecedented for FromSoft games. They always have some way of recovering, or some way of keeping things going. But now it looks like, unless I'm interpreting this wrong, they don't. It looks like Dark Souls 3 has a way of actually well and truly losing. Which is, wow, I had that many souls? Which is, un like I said, unprecedented. Ow. Well... Thanks, giant archer, who's clearly trying to kill me, but also ended up killing my enemies. I mean, I think it's pretty clear that the whole point of this area is that the archer's trying to kill you, but... Well, trying to kill anything that moves. I don't want you again. No. Come on! Okay. So yeah. Hopefully there's a way of either reversing hollowing or undoing having gained those levels, because if not, there might be a delay as I essentially redo everything I've done so far, minus talking to Yol and basically screwing myself. So hopefully that doesn't have to happen. Hopefully there's a more painless way that doesn't involve restarting my entire character, but... Ooh, great sight. But it looks like that's probably the way it's going to go, and I really hate to say that. Hmm. Wow. Okay, so it has a headshot. It has... as an attack. I mean, it's already... Great sides are already a powerful weapon because they can go by shields. They can basically bypass shields. I mean, in my case, it's not a big deal, but... Most people use shields, so it matters. I'm going to get fired upon. Maybe, but there's clearly a path down there. Which is also clearly part of the giant shooting range. Nope, it's, there's a path there. Am I being shot at? No. Hey, what's that? There's an item over here. Oh, come on! How was I possibly supposed to avoid that? Okay, whatever. Let's just get back. Okay, seriously? There's no way to avoid that splash damage. I, I don't get how I'm supposed to possibly survive this. This is just crap. Oh, hey, cleric stuff, which I already had.
Okay, well... I'm still probably getting shot at. Well, I survived. At any rate, I lived. Not sure about that other AI-controlled enemy. Maybe they didn't. Oh, it does shoot over here. Okay, so that is a valid target. I guess they just take a little while to reload after a while. Are there no secrets in this game? I mean, other than things that were hidden by, say, a bunch of crates. Trap, you say? Oh, by the way, I actually did find out... Oh, this is the boss fight. By the way, I did find out that there was, in fact, another boss that Cathedral I was wondering about. Apparently, at some point, it goes on fire, and then the Dancer of the Frigid Valley shows up. Try jump attack? No, what? Unless they mean on the boss itself, because there's a boss ahead. <sighs> well, I guess the run back isn't too bad. It means basically a straightforward run back. But there's a shortcut here, which is interesting, because there's no bonfire over here, so I can't easily use it. Ugh, <sighs> man. I wish there was some way to just get rid of this hollowing or reverse hollowing. I can't... There's no more humanity to burn. Although I did find Mortician's Ashes. Let's look... Let's actually read things before I throw them into a fire. Actually, I didn't read this either. Oh. Ringfinger Lonhard is apparently who is in charge of the Darkstalkers. I mean, Dark Wraith's Covenant. Yes. Ascend... no. How does this work? Sort... Okay. Good. Back to normal. But yeah, the other one I had there was... The Mortician's Ashes, which I don't know where they are. I suspect that maybe the Umbral Ash I was told to bring back. Unless it's a key item. Is it a key item? It is a key item. Also, I forgot to read the other one. Umbral Ash of a resident of the Undead Settlement who made living, burying corpses. With this, the Shrine Handmaid will prepare new items. It is Umbral Ash! Okay! This is the cell key that I got. But... for fe Okay, so... Thieves are only willing to practice their, practice their thievery on the high wall for fear of the Lothric Castle. Rumor to devour men keeps them cre clear of its grounds, which is... Okay, I mean, I know the dancer is there at some point. Black gaping hole in the flesh that resembles the brand of an undead. The darkness of humanity seeps from this bottomless pitch black hole, the gap filled by the accumulation of the curse. This dark sigil will never, never, this dark sigil will never heal. But there is a tale told of a firekeeper who returned from the abyss and brought great comfort to a bearer of the curse. In Lothric Banner, when the high wall appeared, the path of the undead settlement was blocked, and messengers came bearing this banner. They were sent out with a duty, but had no way of returning. Thankfully, we have bonfire warping, so we do have a way of returning. Uh, which makes me wonder, I mean, how many souls do I have right now? Eh, might as well. How many homeward bones do I have right now? Actually, it doesn't matter, because I can just run back. I can literally run back. Also helped me a bit in getting used to the actual run back itself, like the timing and everything. Oh boy. Please tell me those don't home. They do home! That has to home. There is no way they could have hit me normally. What the heck? But yeah, that has to home. I mean, that, we heard that fire in the background. 
Alright, whatever, let's just... I'll come back after leveling up and face the boss at least once. Though I'm seriously starting to think I may be wasting my time with the hallway mechanic. Actually, before I cut, let's just talk to the woman with the umbrella lash, because she'll probably say something. Ah, oh, how may... Gracious, passing fine ash thou hast given. Let this ash be stone nourishment. I only hope these new wares content thee. <laughs> oh, nice. Okay, new stuff. Not a huge amount of new stuff, but still some new stuff, including a bunch of embers. And a grave key. Oh, Undead Settlement Sewer Key. I actually was curious about that one. Saw that before. Let's, might as well buy it. I was curious how you got that key, or got that door open. And then Pine Resin. Oh, Human Pine Resin. Normally used in the Undead Settlement for preservation and burials, but can mature into this state, becoming a valuable substance. Used in a certain ceremony. Often seen for trade at exorbitant prices. You know, kidding. 1,500 souls for that? Well, anyway. The yeah, trip is a waste of time. There's no way of either undoing hollowing or undoing the hollowing growth. I'm gonna have to start over. Ashen one. Actually. Ah. Same thing. Ashen one. Bring with. Is it? <laughs> okay, Ashen so one. I will come back. Also, just point out that the other guy there, Gray Rat, is kind of despondent since I gave him the bone, and there's actually no way of getting him to sell me stuff anymore. Ah, there you are. Oh, never mind. I was thinking. You know I'm a petty thief. Well, perhaps I'll go on the prowl. Everyone's dead or hollowed away anyway, right? So I might as well fetch some weapons or treasure for you. Well, what do you say? All right, fine and well. If that's your wish, I can only obey. But feel free to change your mind later. I wouldn't want to lose my touch. <laughs> Curious what happens if you actually do that, but never mind. Okay, Grey Rat's still ready. Still able to sell stuff. <laughs> um, all right. No. Uh, I would. <laughs> Goodbye. <Okay. laughs> not sure how that affects my own alignment. Alignment isn't really a thing in this game, so maybe it's not a big problem, but... I feel like I gotta know more, because, I mean, at this point, I'm already regretting this playthrough because of stupid Yol. I honestly want to kill Yol right now just for having done that to me. Is there anything oh, you have to say for yourself? I, as I have so loud, but I, uh, I weep at the... Nothing I haven't already Be safe. Uh, great. Well, with any luck, there's a soul vessel-like item I'll find eventually that I can use to basically undo all this crap and hopefully, while losing three levels, at least stop the hollowing. Oh, wait. Anyway, yeah, I'll be back once I level up. Welcome home, speak very well, then take me. Let these souls withdrawn from their vessels, manifestations of disparity, elucidated by the sorrow deep within me, retreating to a darkness beyond the reach of flame. Let them assume a new master, inhabiting ash, themselves upon new forms. Let these souls withdraw from their vessels. Ashen ones, I ashen. Farewell, may the flip.
Anyway, back. Just use the grave key to open that up, because I want to know what's down here before fighting that boss. I also leveled up Endurance, if anyone's curious, but I'm going to focus on that for now. Oh, okay, so there is a way out. Alright, so I'll keep playing this then. Phew! Actually, I'm curious. That's not permanent, though, is it? Just going to hazard a guess. Oh, 2,900 souls. Oops. I mean, if the dissolution drops the levels I basically got for free, that'd be awesome, too. Like... Because, honestly, I'm not even sure when the curse would fail me. No, I'm still at level 29. Still have the cheated levels. But at least I have a way out of it. I just need to maintain it, I guess. Note that those rats are fairly easy to get rid of. But yeah. Red Hilted Halberd. What is this? A long hilted weapon mixing spear and axe. The red hilted halberd is associated with clerics. Can we thrust like spear? Okay, nothing super poetic. It's just a halberd. It's pretty good. Oh, interesting. So you actually get perseverance, because you actually have I don't have a halberd yet, I have a Lucerne hammer. So you get the same skill as the talismans. Neat. Why? Oh. Okay. I mean, it was... It did say grave key, so I can only assume... I mean, catacombs. Here we go. Oh! Crap. I can only hope that it means that I'm not to worry about necromancers of resurrection, but it looks like these die properly. Okay. No, if there's a bonfire here, that's not going to be much. I mean, here I hear burning, but I don't think there's a bonfire. Waiting for that. Saw those... Oh, what? Ranger skeletons? Okay, that's a little unusual. But they are dying properly. My one concern with skeletons is, of course, necromancers. Once you get into necromancer territory, then the skeletons just never die. Because I don't even have a divine ember, let alone divine weapons or anything. Assuming divine is a thing. Which actually reminds me. We did pick up an ember before, and actually also reminds me, I'm going to have to... Actually, I don't know if I'm going to stop the episode. This episode might be either a bit long or a bit short, I have no idea. But I did pick up some more... It was not titanite, but it was like titanite. It was some more of those stones. Here we are. Sharp gem. Forge of the unique curved swords of Karthus. Use an infusion to create sharp weapons. Oh, it increases dexterity scaling, okay. But it's like, of course I want a sharp weapon. My weapons are as a rule sharp. I realize blunt weapons are an option, but my weapons are as a rule sharp. Where the heck? This is a trap. question is, though, what am I being lured into? Oh. I was just the enemies I fought earlier. What the heck? Okay, so I guess that I could have actually run after that Titanite lizard and not really sweated it, because it's just a matter of enemies up top that run down here. But otherwise, there's no trap. This is a free area of resources. Well, at least I have enough Titan to upgrade, I guess, the crossbow, because that one can't scale. But I've got upgrade materials. Awesome. Okay.
Okay, I might as well not waste bolts. I mean, I can aim. <laughs> I don't have to use my fancy one-hand aiming from shooting from the hip. Blessed red and white shield? Any? No, standard shield. I don't know what it means to be blessed, though. Doesn't look like it has any particular lightning or anything changed, so no, I don't see the point. Oh yeah, I increased vitality. Can I take advantage of that? Not completely, no. Not as much as I would like. Although, maybe if I dropped that and then added this... Nope. Okay, never mind. Trap ahead. Well, there's a rat. But otherwise, I don't see what looks like a trap. No, it's not gone. Why is it not going away? Okay. Descend. What is the trap? I mean, there's definitely a weirdness in perspective here. Oh, that's a lot of rats. Okay. That's getting a little bit hard to deal with. Okay, well, it's still manageable. I've got to check that out once I get to places presumably safe. Or, oh, she can't check out here. I could check it out here. Saint's Talisman. Better scaling? Okay, it's got chime scaling. Wait, what is my chime... Oh, right, because that's adding weight. Ivory talismans given to women clerics and faith greatly affects their effectiveness. There is a certain frailty to this talisman which undermines the steadfastness granted by the skill. Okay, same as the regular one. I wonder what the difference is. Look like it's a bit stronger physically. Oh, it has a much better spell buff. Durability is higher, too. Not sure what they're talking about stability. This actually looks like it's better than what I'm currently using. So, so much for the chime. At least for now. I mean, I'm not using Gentle Prayer very much, so really, having better spells overall is probably the best option. Now, one thing I'm curious about is I got Sunlight Metals. And, of course, Sunlight Metals are a thing that you got for, as always, for helping people out when you're doing it when you're Sunbro. What does it do? Medal received by members of the Warrior of Sunlight Covenant for victory over the final foe when summoned. The summoner also gains the same medal. The medal, engraved the holy symbol of the sun, is slightly warm and reminds one of the great honor of a shared victory. Cannot use, can't get rid of it. Oops. So, I mean, presumably I, there's an altar somewhere that I put it in, or maybe I put it into the Estus soup. Maybe that's how the whole thing works. Who are you? <gasps> Who is Miracles! That? Or Rhea? No, I can be Rhea. Someone there? Anyone? Hi! Oh, please. Whoever you are, touch me. The dark surrounds me, nibbles at my flesh. Little creatures. They never stop biting. So please, hold out your hand and touch me. There you are. So close, indeed. Then I am not entirely alone just yet. Praise the merciful gods above. So oh, forgive I am Irina of Karim. I came to this land so that I might be a firekeeper. Your touch has freed me from the darkness. You are a champion, then. 
I am weak and unfit to tend the flames. But if it would not trouble you, might I enter into your service instead? Yeah, because oh, you probably you, give me a champion. I shall take my vows. I, Irina of Karim, solemnly swear to serve you. Name is distressingly similar to my own. Oh, okay, Irena or I Irina, not Irina, but it's pretty close. Okay, so we got probably the Miracle Shopkeeper, which is the one I really cared about, because the other one, well, the Sorcery. I mean, Yol of Launder basically screwed me over, and hey, it's you! You've gone and how very quaint. Pitying creatures that are beyond help. Ha <laughs> uh, Very well. I'm sick of looking after her at any rate. I am Egon. A knight of Karim. I am allied to you for as long as you assure the girl's safety. And only for that long. What's the matter? <coughs> My terms are very simple. I am allied to you for as long as you assure the girl's safety. And only for that. <laughs> What's the map? <laughs> okay, so new ally? Interesting. So yeah, we opened that shortcut up. Though, as I found before, it's not super useful as a shortcut, but okay. I got Arena of Karim. So that's cool. And I also found a whole different area. Whoa, almost died. But I found a whole different area. And now I guess I can go to the boss fight, maybe? I don't know, I kind of want to go and talk to... I feel like the boss fight's going to be an episode all on its own. But I do want to talk to Irina. And I guess at some point I'll need to go back here and find... Oh wait, there's more stuff over here. Oh no, there's a big rock wall. Alright, well that's it. But hey, that grave key was definitely worth something. Didn't quite make a profit on souls, but it was worth something. So that's cool. Well, actually, no, I, that's right, because I prayed to the goddess of the goddess Velka to reverse hollowing. Right, okay. At least that's near the front of this area. It's, it, it is, right? Because this is the other way of going. Like, there's the... Yeah, it's on the other side. Okay. Wow, this catacombs area is pretty maze-like. All right, so yeah, that's the goddess Velka. That's pretty easy to get to. It's a very short hop from the dilapidated bridge bonfire. And that's where we go back up to. I mean, killing those rats is actually really easy. If I lock on the giant rat and go for a plunging attack, then I pretty much kill all of them trivially. And then after that, just going downstairs, or going down the ladder. So it all works out. All right, let's talk to Arena in the Firelink Shrine, because I really want to know what she sells. I kind of doubt she sells Lightning Spear, but if she does, I'm totally getting Lightning Spear. And I guess also getting more Ash and Estus, because I kind of need that. Where did she go off to? There she is. Oh, champion of Ash. Welcome back. I was not meant to be a firekeeper, but I am honored to serve you beside the bonfire. The gods are ever merciful. My gratitude lies with them and with you. I am yours now. Your wish is my command. You do not have anything I really care about. I mean, that's kind of handy, I suppose. More heal wouldn't be a bad idea, though I do need a little bit more other stuff. Okay, cool. So you have others. Ooh, nice. Not very heavy either. I could actually use that. 
I don't have a lot of rings you know, right now. In so. my home of Karim, I was a nun. I would be pleased to share the tales of miracles with you. Although, to be honest, I only know a few. But if I had a divine tome, I could tell you many tales and more. Oh, only I cannot see. Terribly sorry, but you'll have to find me a divine tome in Braille. Okay, what? Come on. Braille as a person did not exist in the Dark Souls universe. I guess it's a translation convention thing, but I don't know. No, in my home of Karim, though, but if I... Oh, terror. Have a pleasant... I pray for... Well, thanks for the item. I guess not a huge point in equipping it quite yet, but I might as well. It'll probably come in handy. I mean, I don't have enough spells to attune at this point, but I do have potentially new spells to buy, or another copy of Heal, or if I find Lightning Spear or something... Granted, I do want to get more attunement slots pretty soon. Or it's more attunement, period. Yeah, that is going to be where I end this off. And I will, I guess, be returning to where I was. Right in front of the boss fight. But that'll be the next episode, so... Thanks for watching, and stay tuned for that. And thank goodness we found a way to get rid of that bloody curse. I mean, that was... I don't even know. But anyway, this seems appropriate.